Welcome to Calming Walking. Thank you so much for joining me today. This program is brought to you by Northern Westchester Hospital's Center for Healthy Living. My name is Rachel Merchant, and I'm a clinical social worker and a health educator at Northern Westchester Hospital. As a reminder, this is an audio only program. So there will not be an opportunity for you to ask questions during the program. Please feel free to send any questions to chl at northwell.edu and we'll be glad to get back to you. You will also receive a brief survey via email after this presentation where you'll have the option of submitting questions. Thank you to those of you that submitted questions beforehand and I'll respond to them throughout this presentation. If you are able while listening to this program, I encourage you to put on your sneakers and head outside to walk while you listen. I will be referencing what I've noticed outside today in Westchester, New York, and will ask you to consider your own surroundings while walking. I will encourage you to pause occasionally during the program to give us a moment, both physically and mentally, to consider our individual environments. Please note that these pauses are optional. You're welcome to continue walking if you prefer. While you walk, please be aware of your own level of comfort and ability, and be sure to walk at a pace that is manageable for you during this program. Additionally, feel free to take breaks whenever you need. This program will be approximately 20 minutes long. So why take a calming walk? Our activities of daily life keep us very busy. Some of us may find it challenging to carve out any time in our full schedules for relaxation. We might not even realize that there are opportunities to pause, take in awareness of our surroundings, and seek calm while also checking items off of our very full to-do lists. Some of us may also be seeking ways to add relaxation to our daily routines to find more opportunities for calm, for reflection. Walking is a wonderful opportunity to seek a moment of calm. It can be a time to relax and reflect while also accessing the many benefits of physical activity. So I look at calming walking as a great multi-purpose beneficial activity. I encourage you to walk along with me today as I point out ways to engage in your environment seek a moment of calm, seek perspective, and relax. So let's start our walk. Or if you've already been walking, let's continue. Consider as you step outside the day around you. Is it bright or overcast? I notice a difference today in areas of sun and shade. What do you notice about the temperature? Is it warm or cool? How does the outside air feel on your skin? For me, I sensed in the shade some cool, but in the sun, I felt warm on my skin. Take a deep breath in and slowly release it. Are there any smells colors, or other sensations that you notice right away? Pay attention for a moment to whatever catches your eye. What makes it appealing to you? Is it the color, textures, movement? When I first walked outside today, what I noticed was the moving of the leaves in the wind that instantly caught my eye. The gentle fluttering of the leaves and the sound of their rustling called my attention right away. As you observe your surroundings, continue moving forward and take a look around. What do you notice? Let's take a look at the sky. Gaze upwards, forwards, and to either side. What color is your sky today? Is it a strong blue, a steely gray? Are there multiple colors or one main theme? 
try to notice if there's any changes in color and hue as you look towards different parts of the sky, as you look up and then slowly towards the side. Does the color or hue change at all? Do you see any clouds in your sky today? If so, what do they look like? Take a moment to observe their texture and their shape. Are they puffy? Well-defined? Wispy? Pause for a moment to observe any clouds if they're present. Do you notice their movement? Is it fast or slow? What I noticed today is wispy clouds streaking throughout the sky in certain places. And their movement was very slow and deliberate. There were patches of blue, patches of white and grays in between with subtle changes in color as I looked out towards the horizon versus straight up. When you're ready, continue walking forward. Try to consider your walking movement compared to the movement of the clouds. You're all advancing forward. We're all moving forward. Gaze around you in multiple directions. What colors appear? Do you notice any signs of spring? And if so, what are they? Consider how the colors and your surroundings in general might have changed with the seasons. Are there seed pods fluttering from the trees? or floating through the air? Do you see any flowers brightly in bloom? Do you see any new growths coming out of the ground? Are flowers and plants budding? Are petals falling, making patterns on the ground? If you see leaves around you, consider their color. Do they have a lighter, brighter, springy hue? Think about how they look when they first appear and how they may change as the months advance forward. I notice that the spring leaves that I've seen around me as I walk are lighter, brighter, and intense in their color. And I notice that this changes, becoming richer and darker as we move towards summer. I've noticed a lot of seed pods flying through the air, collecting on the ground in piles and spread about. Continue observing what's around you, wherever you may be. Think about what calls your attention, whether it be a sight, a sound, or any other sensation. Pay attention to what calls to you and wonder about why. Pay attention to the different things that stick out to you in your environment. As you continue walking, look all around you. Pause momentarily to glance down. What are you walking upon? Look at the ground below your feet. What colors do you notice there? Is there anything upon the ground? whether leaves, pollen, seed pods, bugs crawling, rocks, asphalt, dirt. See if you can notice any patterns on the ground below you and surrounding you or any interesting textures that call your eye. Try to sense how the ground feels beneath your feet. Is it hard or soft? Notice how you are supported by the earth below in every step you take. There is a solid, stable base below our feet to lean on, and we can seek comfort in that. 
you can now keep walking forward. When I walk today, I noticed the patterns of the gravel on the street where I was walking, different colored rocks and different textures. I noticed the seed pods on the ground and how they might move slightly with any wind. Notice now if there is any wind where you are. If there is wind, where in your body do you sense it? Your hands, your arms, your head, your face? Is the wind cooling and soothing? Is it hot or heavy? Take a moment to notice the feeling of the wind or the feeling of stillness on your skin. Breathe in the air around you and slowly release. I noticed the wind today was cooling. It was a calming wind. In the sun, it helped contrast the warmth of the sun and was a cooling breeze. Not too strong, but enough to move the leaves around me and create interesting images to look at while I walked. As you continue walking, Notice if you hear any noises. I'm going to stop speaking for a brief moment so we can all tune in to our surroundings. What do you hear? Try to notice if there are different levels of sound at different distances perhaps near or far? What do you notice? Do you hear birds? Cars? The sounds of leaves rustling in the trees? Voices? Maybe a lawnmower or a dog barking? Listen for another moment to see if any additional sounds present themselves. The first thing I heard when I walked outside today was the rustling of the leaves. They made a unifying sound with the rustling of different trees melding together to create a soft melodic tune. Now, focus on your own sounds. Can you hear your feet on the ground below you? What sound do they make? Can you hear the sound of your breath? Notice its rhythm and allow yourself to be soothed by your breath. In and out in and out. As you continue walking, try to locate an object that is significantly taller than yourself, perhaps a tall tree or a building. Take a moment to see if you can locate something close by. If you are able, Try to get close enough to observe it well. Stop for a moment and pause to gaze up. What do you notice? For example, if it is a tree, what colors pop out to you? What textures do you notice? What shape are the leaves? Does the bark appear rough or smooth? Is it patterned? Is the tree still or moving? 
if there is sunlight where you are, how does it filter through or where can you notice the sky through the leaves? If you're observing a building, seek details, textures, and differences of materials. What stands out? Are there any patterns? Compare your height with that of the tree, building, or whatever you're near. Take a moment to appreciate the differences in sizes. Sometimes when we're experiencing a difficult moment, working through a problem, or feeling overwhelmed, our challenges can feel very large, enormous, in fact. At times like these, using perspective can be a beneficial practice. We can appreciate that there are things much larger than ourselves and also be empowered to recognize what is and what is not within our control. We can try to consider what we can do to take better care of ourselves in coping with a challenging time, Practice, practicing self-kindness and compassion. And for the many things outside our control, we can try to practice acceptance which is the acknowledgement of where we cannot enforce change. We can celebrate acceptance as a freedom to focus on what we are able to control, able to change, and able to sustain. It's so important to remember that our well being is one thing that is always within our control, something we can always work to improve feel free to continue walking when you are ready. When walking, some of us like to listen to music or podcasts. I encourage you to do so if it brings you calm. I'd also consider trying some walks with no noise addition, engaging with the sounds, sights, and sensations around you. You can observe how you feel after these walks and see if it's a beneficial practice that you'd like to add to your routine. There is no one right type of music or program to listen to while walking. It's whatever you seek to hear. If you're looking for options, I might suggest trying music with no words, like a classical music piece to see if the sounds of instruments unify with scenes of nature or your other surroundings. You may be surprised at the ways the music can highlight or intensify the experience. Some of us may walk with our pets. It can be challenging to fully focus on calm if we are being quite literally pulled in another direction. However, Dogs are incredibly present animals. If you walk with your pet, I encourage you to tune in to their experience. Perhaps you may also find calm in the sights, sounds, and sensations that call the attention of your pet. There is no one right way to walk and no one right way to find calm while walking. It is a learning experience to see what helps us feel relaxed, lower our stresses, and seek calm while benefiting from movement. I encourage you to try different types of walks when you're able. Walks can be for as long or short as feasible. Any time we can take to care for ourselves, no matter how brief it may be, is beneficial and important. I encourage a type of self-experiment. If you can, or if you're interested, take calming walks as you're able, and then check in with yourself after a week, a few weeks. Ask yourself if you notice any changes in your mood, your attention, or other areas. And if you notice any positive changes, 
consider adding calming walks to your routine in a way that works for your schedule and your life. If there is a time where you're unable to walk or not walking as much as you'd like, that's okay. There is no one right way to seek calm. And our wellness is something we can always, always work to improve. Thank you for joining me on this calming walk today. I hope this program provided an opportunity for reflection and relaxation. I encourage you, if you found this activity beneficial, to keep taking calming walks while observing your surroundings, engaging your senses, and seeking perspective. We can do this in any of our daily activities as an opportunity for calm. You will receive a brief survey via email after this presentation. Please consider filling it out to provide your feedback and suggestions for future programs. We value your input. You are welcome to keep walking now if you so choose. Thank you again for joining me, and I hope you have a good, relaxing, and calming rest of your day. This program will now end. Take care and be well.